There's a couple of things about jam sessions that actually, it, to me, is painful. Um, when I went to a jam session one time, and it wasn't a learning experience. There was nothing I could get out of that because it was this was way before the pandemic. It was too many superstars. And so when you got a lot of superstars, you got people that's in there that want to learn, but they can't learn because it's too many superstars. And when I say superstars, mm -hmm. I mean cats in there that um, you know, know they can play and you know they their their arrogancy takes over their gifts. And when you see that, mm -hmm. when you see that as a as a player yourself, you still I I I get pained uh, because I know there's the little kid over there in the corner. And there's a little girl on that corner, and then there's a, a, a older guy back behind me. They really want to play, but they can't seem to get past how arrogant the people are on stage. Even when they walk off stage, they they bringing it right down to the you know off stage. I'm like, bro, y'all killing a lot of folks in here, and you're a great player, but your attitude mm -hmm. is so smoked. That you 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 you're hurting this young lady right here, and this young man right here, and even the older brother in the back. You're hurting them because they can't approach you because you're in star form right now. And I'm like, what? You're still in this city. You can't be too much of a star, <laughs> man. Break that down, bro, so people can approach you and learn something. I had kids tell tell me that you know they were calling people names. I I tried to take you know lesson from this guy and. You know, I, I couldn't because he was so, you know, he, he knew all this stuff, but he couldn't, he couldn't project it to me correctly. And then I'm like, you know, first of all, you got to, you got to lower yourself down. You got to bring yourself down to where people can approach you and learn. Even me, I'm learning every day, man. But when I walk across a cat that, you know, I can't approach correctly, and I don't know what correctly means, but if I can't approach him, to even ask him something, um, that's painful for me, man, because if he's hurting me, you can imagine what he's doing to other folks that is not even to our level where we are right now, you know, that really wants to learn. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, there's a lot of ego. Oh, my God. Yeah, Painful, man. It hurts ego. my heart. I mean, you know, the, it, it, now, now, granted, ego takes a, takes a you know takes a lot of uh takes a lot of body blows <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know the, the term e ego because you know not everything about ego is bad some some things about ego um can be positive like ego is involved in trying to improve okay like you know but the problem is that when when it gets out of balance, that's, that's, that's where the problem is. And unfortunately, uh, musicians, folks, folks that are on the stage and are getting, getting this. Yeah. Um, I mean, we have, we have an issue these days. Also, we have an issue with people getting sort of validation by likes and you know, <laughs> on social media, and so they have convinced themselves that they are uh, important because they achieved a certain number of, you know, views or likes uh. or any of that kind of stuff. <laughs> and it's the same thing. It's still it's 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 expressed differently. The you know the uh, the method is different, <laughs> but it's still the same thing. And humans, you know, have a tendency to be that way. Yeah, I don't like I don't like sessions where I feel like folks are 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 like that. This particular session um, is is good because there's a good mix of professionals and and college students, and there's even some high school students that are in there, and and it's really kind of a community kind of thing. Okay. And um, and uh. uh but yeah, I've also been to the ones where it wasn't really the right thing. And or uh, the ones where you have folks that really don't have any business getting on stage. And then they, <laughs> and then they try to take 30 courses. 
Oh no. On something. You know? So you get <laughs> I mean <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you don't I, know what you're going to get. <laughs> I, I, I tell people a lot, man. It's like, whatever you, the, the worst thing you can do, and I, and I, I try to tell my, tell my church brothers and sisters that, if you're in your church and all the people in your church are telling you how wonderful you are, you need to step out of there. Because reality check is when you step out of that spot that everybody gives you glorification, and you go to oh, another no. spot that, oh, that no. they don't know you, that's when reality hits in. It's like, baby, no. whatever you will need to do, the people in your church going to always love you. But, no. and you may come out and say, well, people in my church tell me I can sing. Now it's time to get a reality check. Step out of your church, step to yeah. another place where there's that's some fair. real people. That's reality when reality checks in. You're like, uh, uh, you start hearing stuff correct, and you're like, no, we don't sing it like that at all. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. this one of those moments. <laughs> something, something that I say uh, uh, frequently is, there's no such thing as regional excellence. <laughs> Region, I gotta use that one. Excellent, right? Either it's excellent or it's not. <laughs> because you're somebody in this town or somebody in this church, that don't mean nothing. No sir, no sir, no sir. <laughs> Region, I gotta use that one, bro. I'm gonna steal that one, baby. I'm stealing that. <laughs> I gotta steal that. Man, Region, you got it, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. I got to steal that one. 